So you've bought an electric car or you're looking to buy one and you've seen our last video on how you can maximize your chance of getting a charge using the public charging station. And you go to the shops and you come across all these different rated charging cables. So you've got your seven kilowatt, 11 kilowatt, and your 22 kilowatt. And you're confused about which one to get? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you the differences between all three of these cables and which one is going to be the most suitable for your car. My name is Ed and welcome to Juice Garage. So the main differences between the 7, 11 and the 22 kilowatt cable is that the 7 kilowatt cable is a single phase cable and the 11 and 22 kilowatt cable is a three phase cable. So we can tell that by looking at the pin configuration. So for example, on the single phase cable, you can see that it's got the life one, neutral and earth. Whereas on the three phase, you can see that it's got the life one, life two, life three, neutral and earth. And you can see that on the single phase cable, the bottom two pins are empty. Whereas on the three phase cable, there are conductors inside all of the pins. Another way you can tell the difference is on the cable itself. So on the cable, there are writings. On the single phase cable, you can see that it's got 3G representing the three cores. So life, neutral and earth. Whereas on the three phase cable, you can see that it's got 5G, meaning that it's got five cores. So the main difference then comes down to the charging speed between all three of these cable. How I like to think of it is that the seven kilowatt cable is one full size hose, which is able to deliver up to 32 amps. Similarly with the 22 kilowatt cable is three full size hoses delivering up to 32 amps. However, with the 11 kilowatt, whilst it's got three hoses, those hoses are only half the size. So it's only able to deliver up to 16 amps. Now the problem arises then if you're trying to use an 11 kilowatt cable to charge a single phase car, or use a single phase charging station because then you'll be utilizing only one out of the three phases. So what that means is you'll only be able to draw 16 amps at 20 kilometers of range per hour of charge as opposed to the full 32 amps at 40 kilometers of range per hour of charge. So my recommendation is if you've got a single phase car such as the BYD Addo 3 or the MG ZS EV, I would go with a seven kilowatt cable and if you've got a three phase car such as the Tesla Model 3, Kia EV6 or Hyundai Ioniq 5, then I'll go with a 22 kilowatt cable. Because what that means is then you'll be able to get the maximum charge rate regardless of what charging station you go to. In terms of weight between the single and the three phase charging cable, I've got a scale here and we can have a look at what these cable weighs. So I've got a seven kilowatt here. And you can see that it's around 2.5 kilograms. And then with the 22 kilowatt, it's slightly heavier at about 3.2 kilograms. So for anyone who's got a single phase car and you're looking to get a three phase charging cable to future proof yourself, a few things to take into consideration is that the three phase cable is obviously slightly heavier as well as with the additional core, the cable itself is also a little bit thicker. So in terms of usability, I would just take those factors into consideration when deciding whether you should go with a seven or a 22 kilowatt cable. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. We're also developing a website where all our YouTube content is going to be found, plus any additional information and resources that you might find helpful. So feel free to visit our website. I'm going to link it down in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.